University of oui. Melbourne, Australia. Yo, Omar! Omar Yagi, dude, Yagi. from the prediction. I knew it. That's amazing. I told you. Yep. 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 Yes. I call, call that. It. Omar Yagi has an incredible life story. We, which we talked about a bit on Sunday. Yeah. It, he was a Palestinian re refugee in Jordan. Okay. With his family, like very poor. They, the, the entire family lived in a single room, but he got really into chemistry at the age of 10. Um, he came to the States for higher studies, got his PhD at university of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. And then he started really getting into um, these metal organic, organic frameworks. frameworks. Okay, he was like, this, this, this could be something, right? He got really interested in that. And at Arizona State University, that was his first um, faculty appointment. He starts, he starts making a name for himself. And um, in 1999, he publishes the big one. Okay, <laughs> the this is big the big. One. This is the this is the sort of classic example of metal organic, organic frameworks. frameworks. Okay, um, and there's there's posters of this in every chemistry department. Okay. Okay. This is called MOF5, Metal Organic Framework 5. It's got a zinc at its center, mm -hmm. then oxygen molecules in a in a in a pyramid. Okay? That creates a little pyramid. Mm -hmm. You attach four of those pyramids together with carbons on the end, right? And you get the middle thing, which is uh four pyramids together to create one giant sort of diamond yes. type thing. Yes. With carbons at the end. Right. And that carbon is key because now we're getting into the organic. Yeah. Okay. With those carbons at the end, you can now start attaching linkages to other Stop. diamonds, other blue diamonds, and start creating cavities. This was the MOF5 um, molecule. Okay. And this thing was insane. This thing was like <laughs> 3,000 meters squared of surface area per gram. It's a single gram of this substance is going to have enough surface area. Right. For, of like a football field or that, like several football so fields. so crazy. Right? He published those two papers in Nature and Science. And those are basically the papers that won the Nobel Prize. Got it. Okay. And um, so he started out at University of Arizona. Yes. And then he moved actually to UCLA. Yes. Because by this point, I think everyone knew he was going to win. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right. The Nobel. Okay, right. and then in 2012, yes. Berkeley was like offered him a you know an of offer he can't of refuse. Course. Of course, because Berkeley was like was like okay, he's definitely winning by right. now, right? <laughs> and 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 we want we want that plus one, 100. Um, so so he moved to um, Berkeley in 2012. The signals were all there, and um, but you know UCLA first poached him, and then Berkeley poached it they, from they UCLA. Were like, no, that's ours. Yeah. <laughs>